But no, yeah. What is that controller too? That looks really cool. Is that a Bowser? Um, it is. It is looking like a space controller. Like stop. This actually, it's actually one of Canon's favorite colors. The color of the controller, actually. Yeah, the color of the controller. Yeah. Um, but all right, I'm interested to see who Canon is. Uh, oh, this is Soul. Here. Okay, I have seen Soul actually come out to play at Hat. Yeah. I believe uh, I, I actually remember watching him get a zero to death because <laughs> he used the down beat situation. Mm -hmm. and Soul, yeah, definitely is a scary um, character. Yeah, he hails from UCLA and is part of the UCLA crew. Yeah, the crew. Definitely still in university and may out there. They have their own locals. Uh, definitely a great play all around. His first claim to fame was beating Nico at Hollywood Action Tuesdays. He was actually able to take a game off of him. Yeah, wow. Um, yeah, and K9 actually going Sheik. I haven't seen him bring up his Sheik in a while. I know he was sticking with Wolf for a really long time. I um, talked. We talked about how, like, in the patch, characters were nerfed. Top tiers were, you know, definitely got a huge nerf. But I feel like a lot of high tiers, such as Sheik, they were able to just move from a previous spot where they weren't that great. And now that a lot of top tiers are nerfed, and some character matches that they might have struggled in are gone. This kind of moves Sheik a little bit high up the tier list, you know. Potentially, she's probably not more of a high tier. She's a little higher up. Um, yeah. I just think her damage output is still lacking in a bit, mm -hmm. in some ways, and she has a harder time killing still. So yeah. that's like the main thing. Uh, Sheik definitely can get those combos on you, and she's very aggressive, has an aggressive play style, chases you down. Um, but yeah, her kill power and. Um, just the percentages of her fair. Yeah. Four percent fails to one percent um, when it fails. So yeah, it's it is definitely she's a risk reward character. I don't know. She's still scary. I don't know. She's definitely yeah, a fast fortune. But wow, yeah, that tip or F tilt taking out that stock. Um, he there. yeah, and that's because Kane let go of the ledge. He had lost ledge invincibility, so yeah. he soul was able yeah, to go ahead. Yeah, he grabbed twice. Yeah, definitely. And, and you know what? Like there's times being a rhythm main as well. I've, I've practiced tons of times with K9, so he definitely is very comfortable, I know, with this matchup against the league. Yeah. But one thing for Soul that I like that he's doing, he's looking for K9 to sometimes come into his zone and yeah. then he'll get a whiff punish. But so far, K9 is doing a really good job of making sure that he has great frame data out there in use. And he has a lot of good combos. He knows Soul wants to go for that plasma team, but he knows I just need to just go and bounce and push over it. Yeah, that as well. Uh, you saw, wow, a good down smash that has great range and reach. But another thing, too, is that we saw when K9 was off the stage, so kind of placed himself right there underneath that platform. That is a sweet spot to get those fireballs to connect perfectly right where you want them. So, yeah, we're going to see uh, Ridley do that a lot, utilize um, the plasma fireballs, and then, yeah, just kind of mixing it up with um, air and then those f tilts. Oh, um, K9 almost got a tech chase. That's going to be a back throw. Not going to kill. Yeah, Sheik, Sheik is, is light, but not that light. Yeah, Sheik is light, too, but Ridley also doesn't have a kill throw until around 1%. Um, which is actually surprising because you would think a dragon would kill you, you know, a bit earlier than 180 for a throw. What's crazy um, is that really isn't even a heavyweight. He's actually a midweight. He's not. Uh, yeah, I always say heavy, but he's he's mid. He doesn't get all the benefits that the heavy does. He's mm -hmm. a bit lighter. Um, but you know what? I just think oh, having a throw at 180, I mean, even Snake has something before that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it definitely, that, that needs to be a buff for sure. But... Regardless, Ridley has great tools. Um, and wow, Bouncy Fish closing out that stock. Yeah, Ridley has great tools. She has some great tools of herself. Bouncy Fish, still one of her static opportunities to actually just kill opponents. Yeah, and another thing is, too, is uh, we haven't seen Soul throw out as many nares as I would like to see. Yeah, oh, uh, speak of the devil. Yeah, definitely need to be throwing out this nair. It's utilizing that disjointed tail. That's what we want mm -hmm. to see. Take advantage of that disjointed tail, and that Nair is definitely one of his best moves. So, yeah. I'm surprised we're not seeing it as much. Good, um, Nair is one of his best moves, also down tilt. Uh, one thing that really does have is down tilt to Nair, down tilt to forward air. So if Soul's able to just use that spacing, it's really good. The problem that we haven't been able to see him to is when it comes to down to the air to air, Sheik actually is the one winning. Her forward air has a little bit more of a disjoint than Ridley's Nair does. Not only that, it kind of gave Kana. Yeah, a little bit more, yeah. Tail? Like they buffed it a little bit, like back then the hitbox pre-patch wasn't that great, now it's a little bit better. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, that upbeat hitbox. Wow. Oh, he just That left. was actually, that was great because you'll actually see that happen a lot. They'll kind of fade back, but they're like, psych, and then turn around, up smash, and that's 
so powerful to kill as early as 80-90% uh, at the ledge. There's sometimes earlier on those lighter characters. We know she's a bit yeah. pretty light, so yeah, that could kill early. Horse Smash for Ridley is also very, very strong as well. So yeah. for Kellen to just drop the shield and probably go for a different kind of punish or a setup, whatever was going on in his mind, he kind of just dropped it on that one. I, I do see I do see why he might have dropped the shield for sure. Yeah. But at this point, if he just goes for the dash dance forward smash, you kind of need to like respect, okay, maybe I should have gone for an aerial out of shit instead of my previous thought. Yeah, and I like that K9 um, ended up doing the switch over to Wolf here. I know he's a lot more familiar with this matchup, yeah. a lot more comfortable with it. So yeah, whatever you have to do. And you know, that that was a lot of the situation. He was like, you know what? Hey, I've dropped shield. Hopefully we won't be seeing that mistake come again, but yeah, this is... Oh, didn't have enough range to actually yeah. reach the ledge. Those fireballs off stage are scary. Yeah. Oh, that side beat took out some hard punch on the same leg. Tina not getting a punish off of that. Um, but yeah, Soul holding on to this uh, three-stop advantage here. Let's see if K9 can bring it back. All right, K9 being really patient. Um, but I feel like not using laser as much. Mm -hmm. He's kind of playing really aggressive right now. Just seems a little antsy just to get this off, off here. Uh, but yeah, Soul's gonna capitalize off of um, him coming in super close, being aggressive. He's gonna utilize his tilts, there, all that good stuff. Oh, I like the directional air dodge. Trying to survive, but unfortunately that's still kind of put him in that situation. Guess the sweet spot of the side of me, that's one thing you gotta be careful about Wolf when you edge guard him. If he does go for the Wolf Flash, its sweet spot can kill you and will punish you. Good up smash out of shield, because it does scoop you up into the final hitbox that will steal the stop. Yeah, that was definitely uh, Kena's best option there, safe. And uh, yeah, still not out of it. Two stops, two stops now. Um, and yeah, Soul is honestly doing a really good job. Good parry there, no follow-up, just going for the back air there, but definitely... Nobody's going for that stuff and not going to kill yet. Oh, uh, no. Well, I, I see it, too, because he wanted to make sure he reflected that back, having a chance to make a recovery. The problem is when you drop the actual shine, the end line can actually get you, even though that was actually fixed. They had they had previously patched in this release patch. Down tilt, looking for a good follow-up. Nice. Gets the grab here. Kind of has soul a little bit on the back foot. And oh, oh my god. He, he, he had go. a lost edge invisibility. You yeah. have to be careful. You see it happen all the time. And they ended up, uh, I know they ended up nerfing, well, not his F smash, but his down smash. kill. Down smash. Oh, they nerfed his down smash? Yeah. Did they nerf his F kill as well? Uh, no, no. Just down okay, smash. Okay, um, down Blaster smash. has a little bit of end mag now. Oh, yeah. They nerfed his down smash, the knockback. Yeah. And then up B, the hitbox that originally came out from the, from the wolf fire, isn't as big as it used to be. So it won't wow. be able to poke you from the, from the platform. I'm sorry, from the ledge as much as it used to be. Right, yeah, well, K9 Green is back for sure, actually taking the percent lead here on Soul. Nice, catches, the, catches it with a basically a neutral air, really good opportunity. So that laser. Good opportunity, okay. I like that. I like the I like the level of respect, but not only the level of respect that he kind of gave Soul, the ability to know that his ledge option was either going to be coming in with an aerial or something yeah, like that side beat. Yeah, or, jump there, yeah. exactly. So he knew he he knew Soul did not want a neutral get up, a jump get up. I mean, he didn't want a neutral get up. Uh, his best option would have been option would have been get up yeah. attack. But um, the reason why is because Kena has been covering roll, a normal get up, and shield get up. Each and every time with that neutral, so he kind of conditioned Soul to go for an aerial, and he read it out right. Yeah, and honestly, Wolf, Wolf smash attacks are just not laggy, hardly at all. They're yeah, very safe to throw out, and that was a great option, like you said, to cover um, Soul's choices there. And uh, mm -hmm. yeah, he was able to bring that back. He just gathered and collected himself and took it back. Try to go for the side view. <laughs> oh man, yeah, but honestly, this is always this is actually super hype. Set. Commented, but a little bit of Ridley Wolf here. Oh, okay, going for that down throw is a great tool to get follow ups with Fair, just like we saw there. Mm -hmm. um, oh, okay, okay, K9. K9 with the chase. I do like the fact that he's being careful at the ledge here. He hasn't conditioned Soul for anything just yet. Man, he said off stage. This time, I do like it. Doesn't do anything, just to make sure he comes back yeah. to the ledge. He had a lot of risks the last time he did any of those other options. Yeah, put him at like, kind of like a disadvantage. He was going for something, but it was better off just to land uh, safely. There, get back to the edge. Good weight by Soul. Mm -hmm. 
and good points from Kinan. A lot of yeah. patience came out with the neutral. Air. Didn't want to go for any opportunities to give Soul a possible read. All right, mistiming the fireballs a little bit there, but uh, still Soul's holding a neutral on the ledge there. And man, yeah, we're seeing Soul also utilize and capitalize off of the command grab a lot, which will, yeah, definitely give up this percentage. Very strong move. Okay, I like the drop. I like the try for the drop down fair. Oh, God. oh, he almost had the whip punish. That was so good. He came out with an area he could have forward tilted him. All right. He's chilling. Yeah, good, good patience from Kena. He knows they're pretty much both at death percents. So he kind of wants Soul to make the commitment. He had the whip punish the first time, but the second time will be the charm. Up throw, not going to kill Kena with great DI. And good opportunity to retreat to the ledge. Be careful. Sometimes landing on an opponent, wow. it's better to reset yourself at the ledge. It's much safer that way than to try to risk coming in with an aerial. Or risk coming out from the direction of the air dodge. And that was actually a good angle to have to take that stock, kind of called out the jump there. Mm -hmm. um, okay, Ooh, okay, yeah. Sometimes, I don't think that was a bait, but sometimes Ridley's also like to bait with the S-Map because it's not as laggy as it looks. Yeah. So they'll do that whole spot dodge thing and then they'll try to follow up after that. So I don't know if that's what Soul was going for, but it was a... Uh, that a nice try. Oh. Whatever Soul was going for, Kanan kind of reached out and grabbed it on and made it his own. He's oh. got such momentum lead here. 81% and a good empty hop to the oh, down yeah. smash. Wow. Nerfed Wolf, not going to kill though, but it sends Soul at such a tough angle to recover. And he has to come from the ledge. K9 capitalizes with the back air. Yeah, that'll be it. I mean, yeah, wow. Kanan also went for that, like, up air to back air. If you saw that, the reversal yeah. back air. Almost connected, and I don't know if it's, it's not as strong as Falcons, but like <laughs> it still looks strong. It probably hit and almost killed yeah. that percentage, honestly. Okay. Nice down throw dash attack. Kind of looking like the classic Sheik down throw up, uh, down throw bounce yeah. fish. 37% too. That's a lot. Good pummel, looking for percent and the back throw. K9 using a jump, making sure he grabs a ledge and he waits for that safe opportunity to go for a wall. Yeah, since really does Is he gonna go for the out? No, I like it. He doesn't go for off stage, but he sets up the down smash. Great opportunity here. He's playing it pretty clean. He has Soul back on the edge. Soul with a directional up B this time. Yeah, I like that um, Soul's using directional up B because that way it's not as easy for K9 to get uh, the down smash. Yeah. To, uh, to or risk going low and K9 possibly getting a read to. And mixing it, has, it up. It has a hitbox to it as well, mm -hmm. so it's a little uh, safer. Oh, okay. <laughs> Throw out up tittle again. I'm surprised he's not going for the fireballs um, off stage, but that's Ugh. a great tool to use against Wolf or characters in general that don't have the best recovery. Down throw, nice. Goes for the blaster. K9 looking for pristine positioning here. Okay, good job. 15%. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. I like that he tried um, for <laughs> the down B there. Uh, but yeah, K9's not having any of that. So, uh, ledge. Also, you know what Soul's going to be going for? He might want to get that side B, kind of like the Ganon uh, mm -hmm. suicide as well. So that's why K9's keeping his distance. He doesn't yeah. want any of that. Doesn't even want to risk it. He wants to make sure that he's not getting caught by anything. So might be finding, but unfortunately, that's kind of what I told wow. you earlier. He hasn't been going for those new chairs because in the air-to-air, K9 is the one winning most of those victories.